See, when no one's watching, who are you? It's yet another day of typical Hollywood beef, and we are still here for it. Actress Monique is at last expressing her true feelings and putting everyone in their proper positions. The actress, who describes her condition as being blackballed, has disclosed some incredibly alarming truths, particularly about her feud with T.D. Jakes and Tyler Perry. It's a part of it, and you understand the devalue of black women. Here's everything you need to know. Do you remember that wild interview with The Breakfast Club that took place in 2018 and nearly caused the internet to crash? Well, during that time, Monique was on fire, and ever since then, she has been making waves. So, what's with Monique and the allegations she's been raising about Tyler Perry and T.D. Jakes? Well, it all started with the powerful movie Precious, released in 2009. She indeed played Mary Lee Johnston, the abusive mother of the main character, and we all loved it. But in the year that followed, she was awarded both a Golden Globe and an Academy Award for her work in the picture, and guess what? Behind the scenes, there was a lot of trouble. They desired Monique to attend the Cannes Film Festival in France to promote the film before the conclusion of the awards season. However, here's the problem. She wouldn't be paid for it because it wasn't included in the contract she signed in the first place. So, she responded with a, no thanks. And that was no. So, because of all that, Monique claims that Lee Daniels has publicly apologized for his part in the difficulties she has experienced in her career, although Oprah and Tyler Perry have not done so, particularly emphasizing Perry. I said what I cannot do, Tyler, is work for free. It would also appear that the relationship between Monique and Oprah became even more tense when the talk show host invited Monique's family to appear on the show to discuss the assaults that she endured as a youngster. Ahan. I would say Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that. Of course, fast forward to today, it is now being stated that Tyler Perry has changed his mind on something and is somehow ready to make amends. In an interview that took place in 2022, Monique disclosed that Tyler had consented to make amends, yet she claims that he later changed his mind because she believes he can never change. Interestingly, Monique says that she has a recording of their conversation in her possession, which provides evidence in support of her version of events. See, your listeners will hear that audio when he makes statements like, and I gotta bring this up, Daddy, because it's a part of it and you understand the devalue of black women. Now, Monique is adding another resentment to her list of complaints against Tyler Perry. She's calling into question the notion that Tyler is a nice black man, just since Taraji P. Henson lauded him for paying her what she earned. If you were unaware of it, here is the background. Recently, Taraji disclosed that she received a mere $40,000 for her performance in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, which earned her a nomination for an Academy Award. This was after she had paid her team and paid taxes on the money she earned. The movie, on the other hand, made a total of $355 million. That's rather a big difference, isn't it? She explained, I was just asking for half a million, that's all, that's it. When I was doing Benjamin Button, I wasn't worth a million yet. My audience was still getting to know me. We thought we were asking for what was fair for me at the time. That is why she expressed her discontent to Tyler Perry, who subsequently cast her in two of his films, I Can Do Bad All By Myself, 2009, and Acrimony, 2018, and without any hesitation, paid her the sum of $500,000 that she had demanded. As a result of Tyler's efforts to break the standard and ensure that she received what she deserved, Taraji was then able to successfully negotiate a better pay rate for any future parts she may take on. But guess what? It appears that Monique has a disagreement with Tyler on this matter. She doesn't think of him as highly as Taraji does. So is she simply harboring anger toward him because of a previous conflict with him? Or is there more to this story that we still need to be aware of, particularly about something that Monique claims to be as blackballed? And that's when he said, Mama, you've been blackballed. And I said, well, why have I been blackballed? And he said, because you didn't play the game. On top of that, Monique is asking users to abandon TD Jakes and other similar businesses. That's right. It sure seems to never end with Monique, right? Well, as per her reports, he is allegedly engaging in some questionable actions with Puff Daddy, according to a wild story that is now circulating. The idea gained steam on social media, particularly on TikTok, where one user even suggested that T.D. Jakes is a power bottom. 
This was something that Monique stumbled across, and she thought it was quite crazy, especially considering that she had to seek up the definition of a power bottom. But refusing to give the story any further attention, the pastor addressed it at a service. He made it clear he wouldn't use his pulpit to address lies, but would focus on preaching the unadulterated word of God. So, which side are we all standing on? Now, because we are merely the messengers here, we still have a few reactions from the fans who surely picking a side. Ahan. Out of the many users who went wild after Monique opened her jar of complaints, the user expressed, I think Monique's been complaining for 20 years, and that's why no one likes her. Ouch. Another fan jumped in and gave their two cents, stating, If Tyler paid her her quote, what business is it of yours to ask if it was fair? That's a discussion to be had between Taraji and her representation before establishing a quote. Here's another really blatant truth that a user blurted out. Yeah, Monique acts like a sociopath a lot, IMO. She is incredibly toxic and then tries to act like a sweet church-going angel. So what is it going to be? Monique is a wonderfully gifted actor with a strong comedic and dramatic style. She truly is amazing. She's also bold, daring, direct, and outspoken. Then again, in Precious, which had a realistic and intense quality that was devastating, Monique excelled. Then again, after receiving the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, Monique seemed to be in the clear. But in an interview given after everything became public, Monique stated that she believed she had fulfilled all of her promotional obligations for the film. Now, we suppose that she was asked to do promotional appearances in London. It was essentially an offer of a very pleasant working holiday. But this is where it all gets tricky. He demanded payment for her overtime. Of course, the studio objected, and no one stood by her and for her. So Monique resisted even more. And now, she claims that she is being shunned by everyone. So, is Monique making a good point? Yes. Are Hollywood's power brokers reasonable and amiable? Not in excess, no. Since the first Rollum, studio bosses, producers, and directors have collectively built and destroyed actor and actress careers. This means you can take your marbles and go home, play the game, or create your own movies if you wish to act, or be outspoken like Monique and see where it gets you. That's all for the video, guys. Make sure to drop in the comments below and let us know what you think of it all. To catch us again, simply hit the bell icon.